Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Matt Squatch Presents. I've been into the paranormal for oh, almost 20 years now, and I've heard a lot of different cryptids. Cryptids always fascinated me. UFOs, Bigfoot, um, ghosts have always interested me, and I've got stories about all of them. But cryptids in general, I break cryptids into two categories. Ones that are more animal-based, like a Tasmanian tiger or black Florida panthers, where there they exist. And then there's something really out there, creepy, supernatural. Well, let's get to it. The first cryptid that really scares the crap out of me is the Enfield Horror. It's this uh, four to five foot tall creature with three legs, with big sharp claws that hops away on its back legs and has big red eyes. I guess the story is of this creature, some kid encountered this thing in his backyard and stepped on its feet with its feet and shredded his sneakers. And he ran inside and told his dad he saw a monster. And then I guess there was a scratching at the door and this thing was standing there. The dad freaked out, um, as you would understand. He went and grabbed a pistol, shot at it a few times, and I guess it snarled and hissed and um, hopped away on its hind leg. And they actually called the police. And I guess there were reports of this thing all over the place. Um, Enfield, Illinois, which is uh, pretty much the reason why it's called the Enfield Monster. And I guess they've been seeing this thing for years and there's no explanation for it. They'd, nobody would see it for a long time and then it would show up. And I guess they found crazy six-toed tracks for it. Anyway, I think the reason why it really scares me is it reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to play the Doom video game, the pinky monster I have shown here. Um, yeah. So next one we have is the Loveland Frog. Now this is a really odd one out there. It's a three to four foot high frog from Loveland, Ohio. Um, roughly human shaped, walks on two legs. I guess they're seen in packs. I guess they're also seen in the snow, which if you think a lizard, amphibian, or any of those kind of creatures probably wouldn't be in the snow because of being cold blooded. But I guess um, they're spotted by kids, spotted by policemen and in groups and even reported to carry a wand. Yeah, a magic wand that shoots sparks. I don't know about all that, um, but I'll have to take a police officer on his word on that one. I guess uh, recently this picture you see now was taken by some kids who went fishing who saw this creature going in and out of the water. And I don't know about this photo. I'm not a photo expert. I don't claim to be. But to me, it's pretty creepy. If it's a hoax, they did a good job. If it's real, then oh my God. The final creature I'd like to talk to you about is really scary to me is the goat man. Um, is it a demon? Is it the devil incarnate? I guess it's been known to show up as a regular goat walking around and then transform into a six to eight foot tall bipedal goat man. It's been seen carrying off kids um, and doing all sorts of weird, creepy stuff and turns into a regular goat and wants to lure you into the woods. And these things have been seen all over the place. I guess in Tennessee, it's fairly common. Down south, they got a lot of creepy stuff, I must say. Um, this, I don't know. This one takes the cake for me as far as creepiness. Anyway, just this was just three quick cryptids I wanted to go over with you guys. Please like and subscribe. If you want, go around on the internet. There's a lot more about these cryptids out there. Um... I think they're fascinating. Maybe we'll look more in depth into them later. This was just a quick gloss over, and I basically picked these three because they scare the hell out of me. Thank you very much. Bye.